Hey guys, so Daniel from Lazy Gaming. In this video, I'll be overviewing the brand new cemetery map in Battlefield Hardline. Some early access footage a couple days before the DLC launches, but this footage isn't mine. This is from Team Crispy. His channel will be linked down below in the description, so don't forget to go and check him out. But first here we have a flyover of this map. I'm going to pretty much go through each, each objective with him walking through it, and then some cinematics as well. So as you can see, objective A over here, there are five objectives on Conquest. On this pretty large map, the objective B is really the center and all the other objectives sort of go on a slight uphill slant towards that objective B. But obviously this map is a cemetery, very spooky and filled with easter eggs, although I will talk about the easter eggs in this DLC in another video, which should come out in a few days. So this is objective C, it's sort of a crematorium as it's called, and you can see the coffin there. You'll see in the cinematic footage that the coffin when opened actually doesn't really have anything in it. It's a fairly small close quarters objective within a building and yeah there's nothing too special about this objective when compared to the others. Um, as you can see here's the cinematics entering into this again crematorium. It's just a small sort of gothic building. A lot of these buildings are just made of stone and yeah, it's, again, like I said, a cemetery, so you expect it to have that dark feeling. It's throughout this map, it's in a thunderstorm, and you can see lightning strike uh, even right next to you on this map, and it would actually be hilarious if the lightning could actually kill you, uh, which would just be absolutely insane. As you can see, the coffin was open there. There wasn't really anything in it. There's just some uh, benches similar to these style benches that would be in a church, uh, now we're moving on to objective D, which is the catacombs. Now this um, seems to have the most Easter eggs on it. Uh, you're going to see this door right here with that symbol. Again, like I said, I'll go through it more in a later video, um, but uh, not going to go too much into those symbols, but it could possibly be linked to the syndicate gun and mammoth gun. That's really the only thing I'm going to say right now. But yeah, we're going into the cinematics for this. This objective is really interesting. There's a lot of areas down below where you can weave in and out while capturing the objectives. Um, taking a suppressor on this map also wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Just being able to stealthily sneak in and out of the shadows within this map with the suppressor could be extremely useful, uh, especially with a weapon like the R0933 BLK. Could work pretty well on this map. And as you can see, there's a tree in the center that sort of is, again, the center of this objective D. But yeah, now we're going to move on to, actually no we're not, we're going inside the catacombs. I thought I was moving on. We're going inside the catacombs as you can see those doors right there. There's actually a bunch more symbols around this specific objective. And there's two objectives really on this map. This one and another one you'll see later that contain the majority of the Easter eggs. You can see the doors all around um, these catacombs that just look really awesome and it's just you can see the tree growing up the side uh, you can see the new vehicle here the hearse um, I just want to show some drifting around with it before we get into the next objective which is objective B it does contain some Easter eggs as well it's called memorial and we're just gonna see uh, in the cinematic that I show um, we're just gonna see sort of that statue in a bit more detail so here we come into this memorial and this um, statue looks like an angel and she's holding that symbol yet again which is really awesome and you can just see the steps that take you out of this objective as well. There isn't really too much on this objective, it's a really small objective and it's really only that platform on top. It's extremely open and I can see how it could get chaotic. There aren't really too many spots to hide on that objective. The rest of the objectives they don't really have any true gameplay, just the cinematics. So. This objective's really just this sort of small building on the top. A lot of these doors you can't really enter in uh, because they're just like tombs on the side. Um, as you can see, I don't know if that statue was broken from an in-game event or if that's just... Oh no, it's not broken. It's just an angel leaning over um, that sort of platform there. Um, I do hope you guys did enjoy this video. There isn't really too much left as far as the objectives go. We're just going to hit this one more building towards the back of the map across this river. Um, we can actually break the tombstones on this map as well, which is interesting. And yeah, this is just a small room again 
towards the back of the map. It doesn't really um, contribute too much to the map. It's just small, and then, then there's one more uh, sphere-like building in the back. If you are new here, get subscribe down below. I posted the Grand Bazaar map overview earlier today, and in about an hour, I will be posting the Alcatraz map overview. So don't forget to check those videos out. But that's what it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.